The social media platform Reddit recently filed for an IPO that is expected to value the company at around $5 billion. The listing could happen within the coming weeks. Made famous by the subreddit Wall Street Bets during the GameStop short squeeze, Reddit is one of the largest social media sites in the world with over 270 million weekly active users. Reddit is the first social media IPO we've seen in a long time, with the last one being Pinterest back in 2019. While Reddit is IPOing now, it's not a new company by any means. It was launched in 2005 out of the co-founder's dorm room at the University of Virginia. To put that into context, it's only one year younger than Facebook. While it has amassed hundreds of millions of regular users, the company has incurred net losses since its inception, including a $140 million operating loss in 2023. Despite being a 19-year-old company, they claim they are still in the early stages of monetization. In this video, we'll look at the history of Reddit, why they are still losing money, and what we can expect from their upcoming IPO. Before we take a deep dive into the Reddit IPO, a quick pause from today's video sponsor, Public. You might know Public.com as the all-in-one investing platform. Now, they've launched options trading, and with it, they're doing something no other brokerage has ever done before. Public is sharing 50% of their options trading revenue directly with you, the customer. So whenever you trade options on public, you get something back. And of course, there are no commissions or per contract fees either. By sharing 50% of their options revenue, you'll know exactly how much they make from your options trades, because public is literally giving you half of it. In other words, it's a more transparent approach to options with no fees, and you get something back on every single trade. So go to public.com and activate options trading by March 31st to lock in your lifetime rebate. Paid for by Public Investing. Must activate options account by March 31st for revenue share. Options are not suitable for all investors and carry significant risk. Full disclosures can be found at public.com slash options. US members only. And now back to the video. Reddit operates as a community of communities. The platform is divided into thousands of subreddits, each dedicated to a specific topic, interest, or theme. Each subreddit is created by an independent user who sets the rules of the subreddit and appoints moderators to enforce the rules. Within the subreddit, users are free to make posts related to that subreddit's theme. Fellow Redditors can reply with comments. The shared interests of the people in each subreddit creates a strong sense of community and connection. Most Redditors use a pseudonym as their username. By hiding their identity, they feel free to say whatever they want to on the platform. They can discuss controversial or personal issues, which they may not feel comfortable discussing otherwise. Like most social media platforms, Reddit's main source of revenue is advertising. They place display ads in the feeds, and advertisers pay a fee either every time the ad is clicked or viewed. But advertising isn't the only way that Reddit makes money. When you make a Reddit account, you also get an avatar which you can customize. The avatar shows up next to your name when you post or comment. Some of the customizations are free, but for most of them you have to get Reddit Premium, which costs $6 per month. In 2022, they also created an NFT marketplace. Independent artists can create digital artwork which they sell on the Reddit platform. Reddit takes a cut of the sale price. You can sell these NFTs on the secondary market. Reddit also takes a 5% cut on all secondary transactions. Reddit avatars are kind of like gun skins that you can buy in some video games. They don't serve any functional purpose, but some people think they look cool. If you have a valuable skin, this gives you bragging rights within the game. Reddit takes it a step further by allowing you to resell your avatar NFT on the secondary market for real money. Because of this, some people buy Reddit NFTs purely for the purpose of speculation. The final way that Reddit makes money is with its API. The API allows third-party applications to access all the posts and comments on the platform. For example, a third-party iOS app called Apollo provided an enhanced browsing experience, which allowed for more customization and what many people believe to be a better user interface. Apollo scrapes the content on Reddit through the API. Users can browse Reddit via Apollo without the need to go to Reddit directly. Apollo followed a freemium model, where the app itself is free, but you need a paid subscription for premium features, such as being able to post on Reddit directly from the Apollo app. In June of 2023, Reddit updated the terms of service around their API. They implemented rate limits, so free users are restricted to 100 queries per minute. Beyond that, you have to pay 24 cents per 1,000 API calls. While this doesn't sound like a lot, many of the third-party apps query the Reddit API tens of millions of times per day, as they need to do a query every time someone views a post. Almost immediately after this new policy was implemented, Apollo, along with many other third-party apps, were forced to shut down. This caused a huge amount of backlash among Reddit users, with some moderators temporarily shutting down their subreddits in protest. To be honest, I don't understand why there is so much backlash from this decision. The third-party apps paid no money to Reddit. In fact, many of them removed the ads from the feed, so Reddit missed out on the advertising revenue they would generate if the user goes to Reddit directly. 
All the while, Reddit incurs substantial costs to maintain the data centers and APIs. Shortly after the API pricing structure was announced, CEO Steve Huffman said this was a necessary move for Reddit to become a self-sustaining business. They can no longer afford to subsidize third-party apps with large data usage. The fact of the matter is, Reddit is losing money. If they want to survive, they need to either cut costs, increase revenue, or both. Thus far, revenue from Reddit Premium, their NFT marketplace, and paid API access have been immaterial. In 2023, 98% of the company's overall revenue still came from advertising. At first, it seems like Reddit would be a great platform for advertisers. Reddit users already divide themselves into subreddits based on their interests. On r slash gaming, you could advertise video games. On r slash movies, you could advertise movies, etc. But if we compare Reddit to other social media companies, we can see that they're actually the worst at monetization. In the fourth quarter of 2023, Facebook generated $9.81 per monthly active user. Pinterest generated $1.97, Snapchat generated $1.70, Reddit does not report its monthly active users, they only report weekly active users. There are more monthly active users than weekly active users, so revenue per weekly active user will always be higher than revenue per monthly active user. Reddit's revenue per weekly active user is just $0.93. Cents. This is less than the revenue per monthly active user of any other major social media platform. So why is Reddit's revenue so low? Most social media platforms require you to create an account and log in to access the site. By monitoring your social media activity, they can build a detailed consumer profile on you and use this to serve you hyper-targeted ads. On Reddit, you can view the site even without creating an account. It is not uncommon for people to be searching for things on Google and end up clicking a link to a Reddit post. If you're not a regular Reddit user but you occasionally stumble upon a Reddit post via Google search, Reddit will not have a consumer profile for you, so their ability to target advertisements is impaired. In the most recent quarter, more than half of Reddit's daily active users were not logged in. These logged out users have much lower conversion rates, and therefore advertisers aren't willing to pay as much. This largely explains why Reddit's revenue per user is so paltry. In their IPO prospectus, Reddit claims they are still in the early stages of monetization. While Reddit has done advertising since 2006, they claim to have only begun meaningful investment in their ad tech in 2018. This includes their ability to collect data on their users, algorithms to decide which ads to show people, attribution tools, etc. This raises a couple of questions. Why did they wait until 2018, 13 years after the company was founded, to begin meaningfully investing in their ad tech? In 2018 was 6 years ago. Why is their monetization still so bad today? This chart shows Reddit's average revenue per daily active user. This is revenue per daily active user, so it's not directly comparable to the weekly active user number we looked at previously. There was a massive increase throughout 2021. This may have been thanks to the post-pandemic boom in consumer spending, but since then revenue per user has flatlined. If we compare the seasonally important fourth quarter, they made $3.28 in 2021. In 2022, this increased to $3.49. In 2023, it actually decreased slightly to $3.42. So while they claim to be in the early stages of monetization, they don't appear to be making much progress. This is an unscientific survey, but I looked at r slash gaming expecting to see mostly video game ads. I scrolled through and saw ads for Adobe Photoshop, the remarkable e-reader, the Samsung Galaxy, a stock brokerage, and a meal delivery service. I didn't see any ads for video games. This makes me question Reddit's ad targeting capabilities. Reddit has very high gross margins, as the cost of goods sold is basically just the cost of keeping their data centers up and running. They spend massively on research and development. In 2023, they spent $438 million, or more than half of their revenue, on R&D. Their $140 million of operating loss can be largely attributed to their huge R&D budget. It appears that much of their R&D is focused on developing new product offerings beyond advertising. These include data licensing, which is the paid API access we talked about earlier. They are also trying to develop a user economy, revolving around customizable avatars and their NFT marketplace. Thus far, their data licensing and user economy initiatives have been flops, only generating 2% of their revenue in 2023. However, one thing we haven't talked about yet is AI model training. AI applications such as ChatGPT require obscene amounts of data to train. And if you want to create a chatbot that can talk like a human, you need to feed it large amounts of human-generated text to learn from. Reddit has an archive of many billions of posts, which could be perfect for training so-called large language models. In early 2024, Reddit signed a deal with Google, whereby Google will pay them $66 million per year for the next three years, in exchange for access to their data repository. Google will use this to train their Gemini AI chatbot. It's probably not a coincidence that Reddit's IPO coincides with the announcement of this Google AI deal. 
Given the excitement around generative AI, this will likely help with evaluation. But it's important not to overstate the significance of this deal. $66 million is only about 8% of Reddit's annual revenue. The vast majority of revenue will still come from advertising for the foreseeable future. But if Reddit can land similar data licensing deals with other AI companies, it could eventually become significant. One interesting thing about the Reddit IPO is that they'll be allocating a portion of their shares to Reddit moderators. Moderators are Reddit users who run the subreddits. They'll be able to purchase shares at the offering price before the stock begins trading. This is an unorthodox move, as IPO allocations are typically reserved for well-connected institutional investors. Reddit says that this may create high levels of interest in their stock at the time of the IPO, which may result in an unsustainable price, in which case the market price of the stock may decline over time. It's important to remember the GameStop short squeeze from 2021, which was catalyzed by the subreddit Wall Street Bets. Given their association with a short squeeze, Reddit may be trying to position itself to become the next meme stock. This is more likely to happen if they allocate more shares to Reddit moderators as opposed to institutional investors. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about the Reddit IPO? Do you think it's a good idea to give an allocation to moderators? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.